prisoner of a twisted king. Seemingly powerless. Decide now, but know that in time, both paths converge. And you will hear his voice that none have heard. Choose. So, welcome everybody to Cosmo Plays Warframe. We are on a brand new account, and I just wanted to jump in here. I heard that you could play the Deviri Paradox straight from the get-go, and I wanted to see what's, what that's like if you are a brand new player to the game. So, let's jump right into it. Oh, here we go. Paradox Path. Melee focused, ever changing gameplay, calling for skill and timing. Oh no. <laughs> as, en enigmatic, as enigmatic drifter, survive with blade, gun, and an occasional warframe as you fight to escape the surreal world of the very paradox. The warframe path will open to, to you early in your progression. Oh. Okay. So, they're like two, di two different paths that kind of happen concurrently. So, this is the like vanilla path. Uh, Fast-paced parkour, heavy combat against hordes of enemies. Awaken, avoid Mark Tenno, and master the ways of the Warframe as you battle through Void Praise and the Origin System. Uh, the Paradox Path will open in early in your progression. Okay, so... Good things there. We're going to do the Paradox Path. We're going to hit Confirm. Let's jump right in. Begin again. Ladies and gentlemen, an entertainment. How many times will one dissenter die before accepting their fate? of Duviri. It is a well-known fact to each and every one of us, yes, that the unbent knee must be broken. Begin. 
Ooh. Spooky. Uh, okay, the game's freaking out a little bit. Oh, we get to customize our, our dude. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Lots of faces. This can be changed later. Okay. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. I think I need to change some of my settings. <laughs> that was a good meteor. What's inside of it? Uh, a glove? A hand. Well, that's handy. I don't like that it, like shattered my hand. Uh before things start happening, let's go to options real quick and optimize this. Oh my gosh, how is this worse? Okay, uh I went through a few different optimization settings. The game looks a little worse for wear. Uh, but I'm getting a few more frames. Why not? Ah! Ah! Oh, thank you, magical orb. Oh, uh, oh, uh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, those guys are all level twenty. Oh, can't sprint out of of that. Uh, 
Okay, I have to go that way. Uh, uh, no, you don't see me. Uh. I don't think Giant Space Worm is very relaxing. Oh, oh, oh. Uh... Ooh. Yeah, I don't I don't like that they're trying to snipe me from a distance. I also don't like the giant worm. Oh. Ha. You're not much of a threat. Okay, I do remember how to slide. Oh, hey, a horse. Gallop. Oh, cool, can double jump. Yeehaw. What? King? Am I king? Yeah, I'll go. I'll hide in a cave. Magic orb. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know, I think I'm having these same issues with any like triple A game. I've I find Oh hello you're the jester Bombastine Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll just get back on my horse and follow my magical orb. You were no help to me, Mr. Jester. Oh. Oh, you pressed Q to dismount? I pressed E last time. What's this? Uh... Well, that looks spooky. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Huh! A child! Hmm. 
<laughs> look, at, look at that child. Hi, hi, buddy. I'm taking a guess that guide the reflection to the light. There you go. Is there more light that you have to find, buddy? Aha! And logic dictates that the last one is going to be over there. Aha! And now we meet in the middle. Cool. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, but. Huh. Okay, so from my understanding, I am stuck in like a time loop by the king who rules over this place. And I'm just living life over and over again until I bend the knee to the king I don't know what's the, what the deal is with the hand that came from the sky and split open my own hand when it dug into me but something's telling me that this hasn't happened before in any of the time loops so yeah let's Let's continue exploring so that we could get a better idea of what's happening. Oh, we're going back to Bombastine. I don't know. Uh, from how things appear, I've been dead a few times. Where are you? There you are. Now I'll be honest, I have seen a little bit of this from Tenocon, I think it was last year. But I haven't played Warframe since then. Oh, that's a face. Oh, I remember this now. Yeah. This is a boss battle, if I remember. Maybe it's not. Oh, I'm melting away. <gasps> Look. It's the good old trio of Warframes. 
Everybody remembers these guys. We got Excalibur and Mag and Volt. Now, historically, my first ever Warframe was actually Mag. And pretty good Warframe, in all honesty. Just strip shields and throw stuff around would be, would be pretty cool. Excalibur is the poster boy of the series, and well, he's pretty decent all all around. But then we have Volt. Oh boy, I love Volt. I love shooting lightning and stuff like that. Oh. Maybe I should have triggered the cutscene. Right now, you're thinking, is this real? Or some fever dream? Uh, sort of, yeah. I haven't seen the alignment system in this game in forever. Thing I also haven't played in forever. I'm gonna call her. There's a story about a rabbit in the moon, so I'm gonna call her Lua. I don't know what the dark alignment does. Huh, okay. So, we don't have m memories of this, I guess? Wait, no, we do. Because we remember the name of the rabbit. Oh, nice. Ah. Ah, it feels good to have swords again. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Okay, so now I can summon the horse.
I can summon horse, I can do guidance, I can... What the heck does three do? Oh, it heals. Nice. That's a pretty nice thing to have. What's with the mirror? Oh, I can change my appearance there. Cool. Man, this place is pretty. Okay, let's get back on the road now that we have swords. We talked to Teshin. Okay. Okay, so Ooh, I am not doing well here. Oh, there we go. I keep on trying to click. Okay. Okay. There's a there's a delay between uh, uh, like pressing the button and blocking. He strips or has a different power strike. Oh, dang. Uh... So when I see that, oh, I should... I should actually hit the target when I shoot them. Ow. Ow. Okay. Okay, cool. And now there's the giant worm. Oh no. Oh hey, it didn't just like straight up eat me.
Oh boy. <laughs> That's an angry face. Oh, yeah, it's breathing fire and stuff. You're thinking, is this real? Some fever dream. All right, Hessian, I'll try it your way. <laughs> <laughs> um what brought here by the paradox in the world beyond the wall they were the weapons of a warrior caste called the Tenno I suspect your hand may offer a way to control them as they did choose okay So now we get to choose a Warframe. Oh. Oh boy. It's a tough choice. Because Bolt can use speed to just like speed through everything what's max passive grounded movement gems <laughs> okay i was gonna say that it's not a max passive uh nearby items gravitate towards mag easy easy collection uh let's go with the volt Ooh. Yeah, there we go. There's our buddy. Come on. Haha, <laughs> it's me. I have returned. Ooh. Ah, now this is Warframe as I remember it. Come on, Volt. Yeah, here we go. Yeehaw. Uh, wait, wall dash. Control direction while with DNA. Yip, 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 Where am I?
Joyride? You are seeking a paradox. You need more than her hand and my blades to survive above. Wait. Her hand? Are you talking about... Uh... Oh my gosh, uh, Lotus. Is this Lotus's hand? Ah, oh, I wish I had a weapon. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy. These are not the default starting weapons. I've never used a piranha before. And yeah, no, by default, the two weapons that you get are the Lado and the Yeah, so that means when we get our primary weapons and our uh, melee weapons, these are going to be completely different stuff. Because instead of uh, the Lado or the Kunai, we get three kind of expensive weapons. Oh, do we want to go two revolvers? It looks like we just get to choose some of these things. Oh, they give you... Okay, okay. Now that I see what our primary weapons are going to be. Dude, the bull... We're taking the Tigris. And if we're going to take that, we're going to... Let's go with... Uh, <laughs> let's let's go with dual revolvers along with the Tigris. Yeehaw. The Tigris is a powerhouse. If I remember it right. I mean, what would you expect from a double barreled shotgun? <laughs> oh, Oh, that's an interesting choice. Uh, I didn't like using hammers in the first place. Oh no. Okay, that was on me. I just kind of slid off there. Hey. <laughs> Okay, so the oh, that's primary ammo. There's been a whole lot of visual uh, 
visual improvements over the year, over the years of this game. <laughs> oh, you can't fly the horse around. Oh, that was one of my favorite things about Warframe, is that when you were flying around in space, you could actually move your ship around on the loading screen. Well, I guess we gotta see what the king's off to. Ooh. 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 What's in, what's going on in Teshin's cave? Wait. <laughs> Sorry, you load us into a place just to give us another loading screen? Are you kidding me? What the heck, Digital Extremes? Who are you talking to? You talking to the rabbit? Well, was that my room? Oh, whoa, that's a lot of markers. What's this? Ah, uh, the figurine. All his horses, all his men. The sooner you find the pieces, the sooner you get out of this place. Well, that's nice to hear. I... As much as I like this place, uh... It seems like my the drifter here uh, really doesn't like it here. What's this? Hmm. Wait, that giant ship up in the sky. That wouldn't happen to be the... Ooh. The Zeraman. Because the Zeraman is the ship where all the Tenno came from. And... If that ship up in the sky is the Zeraman, then there's a lot more interesting things going on here. Okay, so we're basically on a quest to piss off the king.
Ah. Oh, okay. Well, let's grab our horse real quick. Oh dear, I'm I'm almost dead. Whew. Oh, what's this? Hee <laughs> hee. Rolling deals 60 damage to nearby enemies and staggers them. Damage radius doubles for more frames. Every second that you are moving, gain 5% damage. Stacks up to 50%. <laughs> oh. Each successful melee hit grants cumulative critical chance for 30 seconds. Um. Oh, let's go with Deadly Momentum. Oh boy. So, yeah, I think that is the Zerman, the ship that basically created the Tenno. Gosh, this place is weird with all of its black and white and a little bit of color. Wacky looking place. Anyways, let's go and cat let's go and grab a bunch of different things. Ooh. Okay, so in the Undercroft we get to play as the Warframe. What? What? Oh, it just drops me into a survival mission.
Well, that's not what I was expecting. Good grief. I was not expecting just to be thrown into just this. Man, I'm going to fall down those holes so many times. I'm glad Warframe doesn't punish you for that. You know what's interesting? There's the little blue circle in the bottom right. And... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was just you know, talking about how there is a little blue circle in the bottom right that's usually used for the operator in normal Warframe and I was just kinda curious why it's here because I can't press 5 and switch into an operator mainly because there is no operator there's just drifter Well, now I can get a one of these big things because fun fact the the life support nodes restore 30% to the life support system and it's only when the uh life support system falls down to zero then you start taking damage from the environment so yeah use those sparingly because you can just get away with it fun little facts here Oh, we've done enough surviving today. Adios. Ooh, we get a rare decree. Let's see. Wait, are we just gonna like straight up kill the king? Ooh. The target becomes 10% more vulnerable to damage each shot. Neat. With full health, Warframe's... 
Hmm. Let's go with that one. I love how it's called Critical Roll. Da 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 da. Oh yeah, let's get on our horse. Oh, right. That I was trying to swing my sword while I was on the horse. I'm dead. Yeah, come on. Oh dear. Okay, now that's one on one. Oh, nope. There's two of you. Come on. Well, I get a new decree. Ooh. Let's see. Critical frost, critical hits, deal an extra. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go with the uh, cumulative m melee hits. Oh, it's nice to just be able to fly on a horse. Wait, am I working for this guy or? Because he seems like he, he's talking to me. Like some phytoplasts. Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Uh, 
Am I missing something? Oh, this is kind of like extraction. Except you don't have to like manually like shove everything in. Oh my gosh, there's actually just orbs all over the place. Oh, I've just been a fool. Okay. How much did I collect? Do I even want to know what a void angel is? Because it sounds like it might be kind of a scary thing. I mean... Tension seems to be spooked of them, at least. Oh, I saw a big one. Either that or it was just perspective playing with me. I thought I saw a big one. Maybe it's just a cloud in the sky. I think I'm starting to get it now. So, there was an old quest uh, for the Warframe Harrow. And I th think I'm starting to put pieces together. And there was one big point of that quest, which was... Uh, See, see, there is a big one. And there was one big thing in the quest where there's the man in the wall, which is like a supernatural entity that was like haunting this this kid. And we had to like... We had to like take the like burden of holding back this evil entity. But I think our our like actions were in vain because it seems like the evil entity is kind of free. Okay, we I want to get that. Come back here. Oh. Nice, we got the big ball. <laughs> Let's just electrocute everybody. Yeah, there's an electrocution. Okay, let's close this last rift so that their master behind the wall doesn't get freed. Oh 
Okay, so... I guess I have to grab a decree first. Uh, on melee kill gain, 80 overguard, overguard boost doubles. I don't know what overguard is. <laughs> Drop a frost explosive one roll. The explosion deals 50 cold damage to nearby enemies and applies two cold stacks. That actually sounds kind of fun. Oh, what the... Cool, I killed some, like, magic spirit demon or something. <laughs> I'll leave a little fart cloud when I'm sliding now, and then if I do those, then I can deal viral damage. Woo! Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're doing things for the Prince of Fire, which which is Loden. I don't know if I'm reading this right. Oh, great. Oh, I have to kill more of these. Okay, I don't like invisible enemies that just <laughs> whack ya. <yeah. laughs> this is such a precarious little spot. Oh. Digital Extremes knew what they were doing there. <laughs> They knew that someone just kept on spamming melee attack, then they'd fall down into the pit. 
Oh, I thought someone was like shooting a shotgun at me. No, I was just creating frosty explosives. I can hear a lot of things nearby. I don't like it, a lot of them. <laughs> sure, let's just go with all the elements. We're just gonna have a flaming aura around us. All the time. Ah, Purple Paradox. So wait, what happened here? I have a leg. I guess we're born with anger. An instinct like any other. Squinting at the sun or flinching from a bird. But some of us. Maybe we learn. Hey, no, Tension's just a good guy. Also, ah, uh, some drugs. Hmm. 